All right, so let me read that for you. <laughs> it says Madrona. Uh, wind blew on, I can't read it, Chestnut Drive, it looks like Chuck Drive, Bellingham, Washington. Um, okay, so apparently it's Madrona out of Washington. <laughs> so uh, I know I know he doesn't want any recognition, but Rick sends me a lot of stuff, all these really cool exotic woods. So I'm gonna give him a little of a recognition anyway. So there you go, Rick, I do appreciate it. Um, I've got boxes and boxes of stuff from Rick. Um, and, and most of it I've turned. I've got a couple boxes I haven't even gotten into. This is one of them. So I'm just going to mix up some colors. It's got some splits and stuff in it. Uh, we'll probably cut a 10 inch circle with my circle cutting jig over there on my bandsaw. So we'll, we'll find center here. I believe this is close enough to 10 inch anyways. So we'll find center and get that cut out drop her in uh, the 10 inch bucket there and see what we can do for a bowl shape uh, she's pretty she's pretty thick so um, I'm not really sure looks like it's got some some axe marks in it so <laughs> it's been split so yeah let me get going on that So I mixed up three of them, you didn't see. <laughs> but anywho, I'm going to use some Alumalite yellow dye. I know it looks red because the red leaked on it and it's all over me. But we're going to go with yellow here. And it's only going to go so dark. We're going to use the Sunrise Yellow because I haven't used it yet. <laughs> and a Perlex Apple Green. I know, some off the wall colors. I was trying to figure out what colors to contrast that. It's kind of a red and I don't know what it looks like when you get it. it you get a stain or a finish or anything on it, so. Look at that, eh? put some glue on it <laughs> it looks like a little bit too much so you notice I forgot to put weights on it it didn't float because I put glue on it I didn't expect it to stick that well uh, all right so yeah I'm not sure what to do with it <laughs> okay so I think what I'm gonna do is drill that glue out of there <laughs> uh, I guess a spacer so I'm gonna try to um, worm screw this side so I can flatten off the other side here so I can flatten this side off and then I'll, I'll worm screw from this way and we'll turn the bolt that way I can keep most of the resin we didn't need to go too far into there let's get it on the leaf
I'm just a little concerned with having to fill these later, so I'm just gonna put some in here now. I'm just gonna build this up a little bit and do it. And hopefully it doesn't run out anywhere down there. I don't foresee it doing that, but just in case, you know. So uh, most of it's gonna be down in the back sides here. Like, and I'm just gonna mix up green and, and yellow again and kinda mix it in. All right, so two to one fast set hardener. I was more worried about this right here. So all these little bubbles is the resin going down in that cracks. Of course, I mixed up way too much. <laughs> stung really bad but I'm not bleeding I don't think um look at that nice and shiny there all right so most of the cracks are full I think I'm gonna kind of do a uh uh um well let's go with this one. Uh, maybe maybe a shape like I'm gonna do maybe a shape like that one if you guys remember that one exploding <laughs> if not I'll put it over there in the corner um, go check that one out uh, I still I have all the pieces I just haven't put it back together again so I'm gonna try something like that uh, gotta sharpen some tools though I'm gonna fix this off camera uh, it goes down in down by the chuck so I actually have to take it off and then uh, what I'm gonna do is just put some hot glue here stick something to it and pour it from the top side and that should fill it up hopefully um, but I'm not gonna bother with it recording it uh, I still want to turn this here out I don't like this rim or streak around here like this 
I do like that it's in all these cracks and splits and stuff. So that that's fine. This is fine. Uh, I just don't like this right here. I don't care. Th this doesn't bother me. This just was a flat spot in it. It just looks like a window. I doubt you'll be able to see it on the inside. You'll see these on the inside. But this is just, eh. That's got to go. So let me get this fixed and we'll get it back on here and work on the bottom, I guess. <laughs> further than I wanted it to. Now what do I do you guys? <laughs> and have a dot in the middle of the bottom of it. Well, I think she looks pretty good. Not that there's a lot of chatoyance or anything in it, but I think it looks good. All right, well, let me get her flipped over and we'll get going from there. How about that, huh? <laughs> I can live with it.
how do I fix that, you guys? Hmm, 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 hmm. It's too deep. I could try a little bit more, maybe. All right, so right here, this is my fill I just did. Oh, you can see it. There's a little bit. Let me see if I can take it out of there. Get, getting too thin here, so I gotta quit pressing my luck here and try to get it up here. <laughs> You know, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any at all. I, uh, there's a chunk of metal in there, apparently. It's done a job on all my tools and some carbide. Uh, I thought it was just hard plastic, but apparently not. It throws sparks. Well, I think I'm by it. <laughs> can't tell it looks like I'm by it it was in this here whatever it was all right I have flat spotted all my tools so can you see the see the flat spot right here that's from whatever was in there <laughs> so uh, I have a flat spot on everything here too you said niche, niche out of that I gotta fix that and the other ones I will be back in a minute some of it. it feels a little thick right here and in, in here but I'm worried it's gonna look like the other one if I keep going <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna stop and if it's too thick it's just too thick
Okay, so that's a <laughs> really chartreuse color there. She is uh, extremely bright. I like it. I had some tear out that I could not get out down in here. Um, I can't hardly see it. It's up underneath the rip. Uh, I, I sanded and sanded. I got 90% of it out of there. <laughs> but as you can see, my finger is on the back side here. Um, I was getting pretty thin there. So let me uh, get this off here and we'll get it over to the sticker board and tell you about it. <laughs> We're going. My face is naked. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's not as thick as I thought it was. It, it feels thick. It feels a little heavy right in here. But other than that, um, it looks okay. Uh, you can see a, a smudge like up under here with some tear out. Actually, that's the only spot. Is that little bit of tear out, right? Yeah, right there. That's it. Other than that, everything looks really good. Uh, so Madrona. I believe is what Rick called it and it measures out at and it's um yeah like nine and a half about three and a half by yep nine ish nine and a half <laughs> so uh it's pretty much just a chamber pot you know <laughs> or spittoon but it's nice uh I like it uh the colors I was not expecting them to be that that neon um a chartreuse color I, I didn't expect that that bright i was a little worried about it when i poured it uh, but i'm i'm really kind of happy with it actually uh, so there's my logo i didn't do anything uh overly spectacular with it just a wax finish um, carnauba wax i believe and uh this stuff, this stuff really turns nice I don't know if the chunk of metal was in it. <laughs> it was. It might have been a rock. It, it could have been a rock down in it, and uh, it was throwing some sparks. Not, so I hit it with the die grinder. Uh, so yeah, uh, I like it. Uh, and a little thin right there, but I, I like it. I like it. I really like it. So, anyways, um, you know, you know how it is. Give her a thumbs up. Give her a thumbs down. Uh, I'll put pictures up at the end. Y'all have a great weekend, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.